about all the other things that we think we need. But all those other things will let you down. But the glory of the Lord sustains us. What a mighty God we serve. Giving God the honor, the glory, and the praise. Giving honor to Dr. MacArthur Sanders, the president of all of these magnificent churches in our conference. Giving honor to the ordination council of this auspicious occasion. Giving honor and showing much appreciation to whole armor of God ministry, if you would stand at this time. You know, it's a poor duck that can't praise his own pond. Amen. I want to thank my family, my friends, for your love and for your support. There is a word from the Lord, a word fit for this occasion, recorded in the gospel according to John. John 11th chapter, very familiar text, verses 39-34. John 11th chapter, verses 39-34. Out of respect of the Lord, not me, let's rest on our feet. If you have it, say amen. amen. You need a moment? Say, hold up. Amen. Very familiar text. John 11, chapter 39. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Mary, the mother of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinks, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou would believe, thou should see the glory of the Lord. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou heard me always, but... Because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, what did he say? Loose him. him. And let him go. Amen. Father, we thank you for your words of instructions. We thank you for your word of direction. We thank you, Lord, for the word fit for this occasion. Now, Father, we ask that you come into this place. Magnify yourself, Lord. Open our ears. Open, Lord, our hearts so that we might receive your word and lives may be changed. Have your way. In the precious name of Jesus, let the church say amen. 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 Now I hear uh, a cell phone. If that's not Jesus. <laughs> Son 11, 39 said, Take ye away the stone. 11, 44. Loose him and let him go. My subject today, and usually I say, look at the person sitting next to you, but imagine if you had a mirror. Come on, right now. Let's talk to ourselves today. All right. Ask yourself this question, but don't answer out loud. That's between you and God. How will you respond to your call? How 
how will you respond to your call? Booker T. Washington, we know him, writer, speaker, advocating equality within the African Americans. Booker T., a strong believer, worker in liberty for all men. Booker T. Washington organized and started the Tuckasegee Institute. Booker T. Washington was known for his famous words. He said, the circumstances that surrounds a man's life is not important. How that man responds to the circumstances, that's what is important. Booker T went on and said that his responses is the ultimate <coughs> determining factor between success and failure. Let's examine his thoughts. We all are here. We all have life circumstances. We all have reasons that we are gathered here. We met all of our conditions. Amen. We're all sitting in this building. Today, October 7th, 2012, we're here at the PTP ordination service. We're all here. We've met all of our conditions. Deacons, you're ready to be ordained. You've met your requirements. Ministers, you're here. You're ready to be ordained. You've met all of your requirements. Requirements. Pastors, you're here. You've met your requirements. However, Booker T. Washington says that your circumstances, meeting your requirements, is not important. How will you respond to the circumstance? How will you respond to your requirements? This, 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 this is the ultimate determining factor between you becoming a successful deacon or a failed one. This is the ultimate determining factor between you becoming a successful minister or a failed one. This is the ultimate determining factor between you becoming a successful pastor or all of us turning on the TV and bam, Amen. there's you. Amen. Done something crazy. Amen. A failed pastor. How will you respond to your call? Let's look at the text. This is a very familiar text. And growing up as a child, I was taught that this is the text that they talk about when you're coming out of sin into salvation. But it's more, it's more, it's more, it's more than that. It's more than coming from sin into salvation. Church is more to being saved. We need to go from getting saved into building a relationship. Relationship into discipleship. From discipleship, then into leadership. Time's out, church. It's time is out for the church putting the cart before the horse. We've done it wrong. Leadership is the requirement to be a successful leader. It's time out to put the horse. Behind the cot. Amen. 